So hey everyone, guys here, how are you? Uh, I'm the CEO of Bring and uh, welcome to my office. This is, this is my office in regular days, but this is now the office on Zoom. Starting today, we are going to launch a new initiative, uh, which is to talk to the market, talk to our customers and talk to the people that follow us. And we're going to do it in video podcast and uh, um, I'll be hosting different uh, people from the industry. Uh, if it's investors, analysts, uh, customers, and together we're going to dive into sessions, uh, sitting on my couch here, uh, we're going to dive into sessions so we can tap into the mind of those people and understand what challenges they are facing in general and specifically today in the days of Corona and how they are handling that, what initiatives they put in place and what priorities they gave them. Today, I would like to host our last investor that just uh, closed the round with us uh, two weeks ago, Iran Westman from Viola. So Iran, maybe give me uh, a bit about your, your background and what led you into the VC world. Okay, so I had a relatively low career, long career in uh, uh, technology companies. I was involved in the uh, sales and executive position in a uh, public traded company, which uh, took me from Israel to Singapore and then to New York. And then I joined an enterprise software company out of New Jersey, ran it for a few years as a CEO. And late uh, 17, I, I left the company and we decided to make a move to Israel. And then when I was looking for what's the best thing for the next chapter, I got in touch with Viola Growth. And when we came back to Israel in the summer of 18, I joined Viola Growth as a partner for our third fund. How do you see Corona is hitting our market? First, we all hope that it will pass fast for the health perspective and everybody stay safe. We see that, of course, it's affecting everyone. Some companies, it's affecting them very hard. Some domains are affected more directly than others. Some, I would say, fewer amount of companies are actually enjoying it. And I think we will discuss it later in our conversation. And then most of the companies are somewhere in the middle that are affected because of the slowness of the business, people working from home, less decision-making, and everybody getting into this new world business is going slowly and people need to uh, make sure that they are uh, in a, with the right amount of cash on their hands and uh, some of them need to reposition themselves. Totally uh, uh, true. Uh, when Iran, when you look at uh, the sea of technology companies out there and you as a venture needs to make a decision uh, constantly uh, on what companies to invest in, what are the top factors that you look at to make that decision? Okay, so as I, I mentioned, when we invest the company in the stages that we invest, the company already have uh, the company already has some facts. You know, we can see numbers, we can see management, we can see employees, we can see customers. So when we look at uh, what are the main criteria for us to make an investment, first we like very large uh, target addressable markets. So the total addressable market that the company is addressing is very important for us because if we hope that the company will become and be, go out of this uh, investment as a big uh, company, it uh, needs space or room to increase value. Mm -hmm. The second thing is uh, still in the market is what is the market position of the company? Uh, you know, the statement that the winner takes it all. So I don't think it's always true that uh, one company takes it all. There are uh, some big markets and as I just mentioned we want to look at big markets but normally the first second third place uh, a value out of the market the third uh, which is uh, very important for us as a fund is the team that we are dealing with uh, which leads to execution so we need uh, to see that there is a complete management team in the stages that we invest that uh, there are not missing functions and then the the quality of the management, how well are they executing on the strategy and how well are they disrupting the big markets that we are planning them to reach out to. It's uh, uh, ticking all the boxes. Uh, we look at the big market, uh, the delivery, the logistic uh, market is uh, huge. Uh, we believe, and I'm sure we are sharing this uh, belief, that it's just going to be much, much bigger as uh, time comes. 
and bring uh, a very strong market market position, leading the pack uh, uh, of the companies that are trying to disrupt this huge market. And then again, the ability to work uh, with you and get to know your uh, team, Leo and Alon and the, the great uh, other people in the team, make us feel comfortable that uh, this is a company that uh, meets our criteria and has the opportunity to disrupt a very large uh, domain and uh, lead it uh, to create a very big company that is uh, very strongly embedded into very big uh, brands and retails and logistic companies that you already acquired. I wonder when you look at other areas in technologies and you're looking at other companies, what else excites you that you can share with all of us? Where do we or should we or all of us should look at from innovation and growth? Definitely those are challenging times. And uh, when we are looking at this uh, domain, as I mentioned earlier, there are many companies that are going, unfortunately, to get affected by uh, this uh, coronavirus or COVID-19, as people prefer to call it. As I also mentioned, there are fewer amount of companies that are actually seeing growth from it and uh, definitely going to come stronger in the other side. I'm uh, very excited and I had also the privilege in the past to get involved in telehealth, which is a market that being uh, booming nowadays, obviously, uh, from people not uh, going to the hospital or preferring not to go to the hospital. All the aspect of uh, remote uh, learning uh, is uh, being disrupted significantly. Gaming, uh, obviously, is uh, taking, it, uh, taking a very strong uh, push uh, from people being at home. And I can tell you from another company that I'm sitting on the board, Applicaster, which built direct to consumer uh, a media application, uh, looking at the usage of the platform, all of us being at home uh, or being forced to be at home, uh, the usage of those uh, uh, media application is uh, going through the roof. Keeping it with the conversation uh, about Bring, which is our main topic today, uh, I believe that the technology aspect of the delivery, logistic, and definitely those that are like bring orchestrating all this uh, environment is going to become very strong. It is strong. You see tremendous uh, growth on your usage today as the, we live through this uh, virus. But uh, definitely we believe that people like my parents that suddenly are delivering, uh, ordering a, a grocery home on the delivery, and many people that have not been used to do it before, uh, will not go back. So they will uh, continue to consume uh, their uh, purchasing uh, through online delivery. And that's the reason that we are very excited to lead this uh, $30 million round uh, with Bling, Bring, because we are very, very uh, sure that this uh, uh, trend is going to continue. And the wave that uh, Bring is uh, surfing on is going to be a very big wave and Bring with a strong management and execution can take top uh, spot. So Iran, uh, one more question that uh, as a CEO, I'm sure I uh, can appreciate that. You know, these days when uh, companies getting into the crisis of Corona and trying to figure out uh, how do we cruise ourselves out of the crisis and put ourselves in a position where we get out of the gates, we are strong to really paddle fair, fast with the wave that will come. One of the questions people ask is, I need the funding. I need the funding for the cruising time, and then I need the funding to prepare for the growth, for the scale. Um, and everyone is asking themselves, how can we get the funding? Uh, what tips do you have for CEO, CEOs like us uh, that looking for funding into the company to stabilize and prepare the company for growth? I think it's a big question. I don't want to say a million dollar question because companies uh, in your pace, the million dollar is not sufficient. But uh, I think that uh, I can speak for us and then I make it more general. So Viola Growth, we decided uh, as we proved uh, uh, on this investment not to stop investing uh, through this process. Of course, we need to be much more uh, careful than in uh, the day before or in the, in the previous uh, month uh, that led to this uh, um, event. But we definitely uh, continue to invest and bring is a, an investment for this. Uh, and uh, we are looking at other companies. For sure, what we will look, and I guess uh, other uh, VC will look the, same, look the same, is how well is the company uh, positioned to the day after? Because uh, 
Uh, we're all optimistic that uh, it's going to move fast, but even if it will take longer, eventually we'll be out of this uh, crazy event. Uh, so how is the company uh, position? Where is the market that they are playing? How will this market uh, recover and how quickly? And then how will the company mainly preserve their existing customers because this is the most important assets of the company has after, is, uh, after the employees is the customers. And how you make sure that your customers, how do you help your customers to go through this process? Uh, to make sure that they will come stronger out of it at the other side because uh, you need your customers strong. And then again, the product offering being relevant to the new world because things will change uh, after this event. And again, we are speaking about the ring that we believe that only will enjoy from this change, but there will be other changes that will be uh, probably less positive. So we want to see that the company is going to use the funding to make sure that their existing customers are happy and that the product, the offering, the services are relevant to how the world will look after we will uh, get over with this uh, COVID-19.